What is up YouTube? If this is your first time seeing me, hi, my name is Brianna. I post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays every week so far. <laughs> Tuesdays is my makeup days and Thursdays are my fun days. So vlogging, bullet journaling, whatever else comes to mind. If it sounds like something that you are interested, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for all of those videos. So today I have this look for you guys. So if you are going to a work Christmas party or a family Christmas party. I think it's like, I think it's Christmas appropriate. You gotta slay, you gotta dress up, you gotta go all out. So in this video I definitely played around with new products so it's not really like a get ready with me in a sense where I'm using products that I normally would use. I just want to let you guys know that the first half of this video which is just the eyeshadow it is a voiceover because for some reason I was doing my eye makeup and wasn't even talking. I don't know why I blinked. We do kind of get a little deep. It's kind of a chit chat video so i really really hope you guys enjoyed that definitely feel free to share your thoughts down below i would love to hear them if you want to see how i created this look then just keep on watching all right so most of the eyeshadows i'm going to be using are from the james charles morphe palette the first eyeshadow we're going in with is called punch me and this is going to be our transition shade right there in the crease then we are taking this green shade called Daddy and we're just putting that over the transition shade. Then we're taking this black eyeshadow called Spooky. This is going to help to define the crease more. Next I'm going to be cutting my crease. I applied concealer first and I'm just carving out the crease. Next, I'm going back in with that green eyeshadow to help blend the cut crease with the rest of the eye look. Then next, I'm taking this Ideal Duo from Dose. I am applying the glue. Then I go over top with the glitter. This is in the shade Shell. Then I go over top with the green eyeshadow again to help blend it. Now we're going in with the black eyeshadow to deepen it up, help create more dimension. For the brow bone, I'm going in with this shade called Canvas. It's going to help blend out all of the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to line my lid. This is just by Revlon, the skinny liquid liner. And those are the eyes. Now that we have the eyes completed, we are going to go on to the face. I honestly don't know why. I did not talk <laughs> or anything. Hope you guys don't mind the voiceover. <laughs> like mid doing my eye makeup, I was like, why am I not talking? Anyways, so some of the products I'm gonna be using, I did just get today from Influencer. If you wanna see me unbox those products, you can check them out on my IGTV, on my Instagram. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face, and I'm gonna be using the Joe Glow Activator Glow glow activator radiance primer it has like 24 karat flakes in it i've never yeah i've never had a product that had 24 karat flakes in it so i'm kind of like i feel a little bougie you know like ooh, 24 karat flakes 24 karat 24 <laughs> oh um like a jelly consistency like silicone okay this is not like not my favorite but we will see we'll see um my skin has been feeling dry lately especially after the whole chemical peel like i like primers that have that tacky feeling this feels like slippery and slimy but next i'm going to use their foundation this is the Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drop. I like foundations that are a pump for the drop. So if you didn't check out my IGTV video, these products are Korean based. Joa means I like it or you'll like it. I'm kind of scared that it doesn't match, but this is my foundation. I honestly don't feel like they're too far off. Oh shoot, definitely not on my shirt. As you can see, it's running. Yeah, definitely not on my shirt. Soaking into my shirt. That's even more amazing. So I'm just gonna start quickly blending 
this out. So when I took the test on Influencer, one of the tests was foundation shades. Which foundations and what shade are you in these foundations to help find your shade? I'm guessing in this beauty line. I would say this shade is not bad. Nice job, Influencer. This is not bad. This is like pretty good. And it being a natural finish foundation, I'm surprised that the coverage is pretty full. But it is going to be exclusively available at CVS only. I feel like the finish is pretty nice. Radiant, for sure. So I'm going to do some cream contouring. I'm going to use... I wanted to try a lot of new products in this video. I'm going to use Anastasia's stick foundation in the shade Mink. Definitely like a contour shade for my skin tone. Has a bit of a gray undertone. So I'm just going to apply this to the contour points. On my face. So I'm just going to use my sponge to blend that out. And I'm just using the bottom of the sponge, which has a bit of foundation on it. So it's just going to help blend. When we went to Disney last weekend, I seen so many girls with like a beat face. I was like, damn, I should have. But then again, I was like, y'all must be pass holders. <laughs> Because if I was a pass holder, I would not be there open to clothes. I'd probably come with a beat face. Hard to not be there all day though if you're not a pass holder. Like paying that much money to not be there all day to me is kind of a waste. No, it really is a waste. Like if you're not getting your money's worth, and trust me, you have to be there open to clothes to get <laughs> your money's worth. So we're going to put on concealer. And then I'm just going to use Tarte Shape Tape as normal. I did not get a concealer with this influencer package and i definitely like to go a little bit lighter when i do dramatic eye looks but honestly i don't know if i'm gonna say it in the voiceover that james charles palette is like a dream the way everything blends oh it's amazing for the center of the face i'm gonna be using a concealer that's not as bright as that one this is also tarte shape tape in the shade light medium and I'm pretty sure I've said this in the past, but foundation just really evens out your skin tone. It can really, and it can also make your face look flat. It helps to, you know, do these steps in contouring, cream contouring, concealing, to help bring back that dimension. So that is good. Now I'm going to set the face, and I'm going to use Beauty Bakery's Flower Setting Powder. I really, really like this one tomorrow is my ward's christmas party i'm super excited and as of recently we've been like super you know into church going back into church and like being more active in the ward something that's been on my mind lately is the idea of death if you're familiar with being mormon then you know that there is a life after this one and if you are not depending on what you believe in you may or may not believe in that totally understandable not trying to be a missionary right now or convert y'all just sharing my thoughts it's just been something that's been in the back of my mind just the idea of when we pass on my whole understanding of that life after this one is very very small like i i know the basics you know but i'm not like so in depth about it on our way to california with my best friend we were having the conversation and she is definitely more knowledgeable in all of this stuff she served a mission in paris this is what she preached and what she taught to people out there i was telling her it's just crazy how we're so worried about this life it's so crazy how small our life here is on earth compared to what we got going on after this life and we're so worried about all of these things and a part of me is like is this worrying about this thing or is this worrying about that thing going to contribute to where i want to be in my next life we've definitely had a good a great conversation she's definitely cleared up a lot of things for me all of these things that won't matter but for some reason they bother me. I know we're human 
and I know we have so many other things in this life, it's really eye-opening and it really made me think, you know, like makeup is fun. It really is. I love makeup. If I'm able to do it for someone, I love it even more. You know, being able to provide that service for someone who may not be able to do it themselves. It's a talent that I'm able to share with someone else. But it definitely made me rethink, you know, like what is most important to me. It's a lot. Like it's a lot to think about. It's a lot that I've been thinking about, but I've never really like talked about it. For one, I feel like not too many people can relate. And I feel like um, I sound crazy. <laughs> this is a blush and bronzer from the same brand, Joa. And this is in the shade Be My... Oh, we're gonna break it. This is in the shade Be My Everything. As you can see, the bronzer, it looks like it's on the side. The blush is in the middle. I personally don't like compacts that have it combined like this. But we're just, we're gonna try it out. Like, there's no but. Like, I just, I really don't. But we'll see. I'm going to pounce it on first to get the product there. It's kind of pink. Um, it's definitely lightweight. And that's not like the camera's not picking up. No, like even in my mirror, I'm like, huh, oh, that's it. <laughs> also for me, like I like, you know, whatever is pink or rosy, I like it over here. So next I'm going to apply blush. I'm just going to grab it right from the center. Oh, she looks, oh, she was like super pigmented. Okay, I did expect it to be a lot, a lot darker. I mean, it's pretty pink, but it's not. Okay, that's because I dusted off blush. Okay, I don't like too much blush. So I'm going to, I like it. It's like a nice, fresh, fresh face. We like it. Well, we have lips and lower lash line. I gotta do the lower lash line. I gotta do. So this is Punch Me from the James Charles palette. We're gonna go in with Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Obviously, by the time y'all see this video, you would have heard me say it in the voiceover. Daddy. Okay. For that, we are going to take Block. Oh, what is black? Spooky. So now I'm going to do the lip. I'm going to use the Joa What A Matte Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dragon Punch. It's like a dark berry flavor. <laughs> Can we tell I'm hungry? It's not a flavor, it's a shade. <laughs> so this is her. Has like that smoky packaging. Mysterious. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to take the liquid lip. And I'm going to apply it. That scent, that scent smells familiar. Obviously, if you create recreate this look, you do not have to do it in its entirety. You could definitely do a nude lip, a nude glossy lip. I think it would go great. You could definitely be even more festive and do a red lip, okay? Still drying. It feels comfortable. But we're going to see how that'll feel by the end of the video. Lastly, we are going to highlight. So, I am super, super excited to use this product. Ailani used it on her channel. When this went on sale for Black Friday, she texted me and she's like, we need to get this. And I was like, girl, I already got it. So <laughs> I'm so excited to see her use it, that she got it as well. And it is the Anastasia Um Reezy highlighter. When I saw it went in stock on Black Friday, girl, I need it. So you can imagine how long this has been sitting and waiting for me to play. Like I literally just opened it oh my goodness can we oh my goodness can we not this is like everything when it opened <laughs> when i opened it i was kind of taking it back i was like oh my gosh it's moving because of the ridges i was just like mesmerized for a good a good second but let's use the morphe m510 she is gorgeous she looks so like wet <laughs> She looks amazing. I need to touch it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna set my face with Morphe's Continuous Setting Spray. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, can we, oh my gosh. 
This highlighter is seriously, seriously amazing. So I'm going to apply it to the eyes. I take it on a smaller brush. Hit the inner corner. Hit right here. And down the bridge. Like I really like this highlighter. Like I like the wet. So this is the completed look. I love it. I'm obsessed. I feel like everything just flowed. Everything came out how I wanted it to. It just all looks so amazing. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do recreate it, tag me. I would love, love to see your guys' recreations. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That would mean so much to me. If you want to keep up with me elsewhere, you can follow me on my social medias that are listed always in the description bar as well as at the end at the end of this video so make sure you guys stay tuned just if you want to keep up with me elsewhere i don't think i have anything else to say i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one